good morning students i hope all of you are fit and fine today we are going to solve an exercise from the chapter force and energy this as we know is chapter number 11 from the textbook so starting with question and answers let us start with short answers first in short answers the first question is name the different types of forces well the different types of forces are muscular force mechanical force elastic force gravitational force frictional force these are the different types of forces so you have to write this as a answer for the first question second question is what are simple machines well simple machines are tools we use to help make work easier because simple machine makes our work easier someone ask you what is simple machine then you have to write that simple machine is a tool that makes our work easier third question why is geothermal energy referred to as a renewable source of energy well geothermal energy is a renewable source of energy because the water is replenished by rainfall and heat is continuously produced inside the earth because these are the things that are produced by our nature again and again okay it is replenished and that's why uh, these are geo uh, these are like geothermal energy are renewable sources of energy then from where does most of the heat energy come well most of the heat energy we use come from the burning fuels like coal kerosene petrol so burning this we get a heat energy fifth question name the four different forms of energy mechanical energy heat energy light energy and electrical energy these are the different forms of energy now comes long answers so first question is what is lever on what basis are levers classified well a lever is a simple machine consisting of a beam or rigid rod pivoted at fixed hinge or fulcrum levers are classified by relative position of fulcrum effort and load so this is how we classify levers then second question what is an inclined plane how is it useful for us well an inclined plane is a slope or a ramp and how is it useful for us you can take an example a ramp used by workmen to push a heavy load on wheels up into a truck ramp for wheels chairs ramps to load luggage onto a plane an escalator slope such as side of a hill which is a natural inclined plane the roads in the hills make longer distances but are easier than climbing straight up so this is how we use a ramp or an inclined plane then third question is does a screw join two pieces of wood better than a nail how well screws have a threaded shafts hold better in a wood and draw board together much more tightly and they have a greater tensile strength compared to nail and that's why screws are much stronger compared to nail so screws also do a better job of holding tight during uh, wood's natural expansion or contraction because woods depending upon the temperature and condition they naturally expand and contract and during this condition screw holds on to it very nicely compared to the nail well the next question is what does the law of conservation of energy state well the energy can neither be created nor destroyed energy just changes from one form to another so energy you cannot create it out of nothing neither you can destroy it completely it can only be changed from one form to another the total energy of the object never decreases or increases it just gets transformed from one form to another then how is wind energy more environment friendly than heat energy well the answer to this question is wind is a renewable source of energy overall using wind to produce energy has fewer effects on environment compared to any other source wind turbines do not release emissions that can pollute air or water and they do not require water for cooling wind turbine may also reduce the amount of electricity generation from fossil fuels which result in lower total uh, air pollution and carbon dioxide emissions heat energy on the other hand is obtained from burning fuels like kerosene coal petroleum which releases harmful gases leading to air pollution and that's why wind energy is much more environment friendly compared to heat energy well students that was all for today i hope you understood whatever i tried to teach you this exercise will be helpful for you during the exams 
so that was all from my side thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts i can clarify it just put your comments put your questions in comment box we'll try to answer them as soon as possible so see you in the next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye